Hello guys, Salman Nasim here. Welcome to the first lecture of our course. This course is designed for the beginners, like for those who never use the Blender or don't know the basic of the animation in Blender. So if you are one of them, this course is for you. Let's start with a little introduction about the layout. This is called viewport. We have the outliner on the right side and we have the timeline at the bottom and there is a properties menu on the right side we will use all of them frequently before going further we will first have to understand the basic of 3d geometry how these cubes are made for example currently we have this cube i will select and click on a tab button you will see there are few dots over here these are called vertex and if we have two vertex it will become an edge so this is the edge we can move it by clicking a G key and when we have three or more edges and when we have three or more edges it will become a face a face means it will have three or more vertex we can switch from face to edge selection or a vertex selection from the top we have few modes for example we frequently use the edit mode if I want to change the uh, change the geometry or add something like that once everything is done i will switch back to the object mode i will delete this object by pressing a x or a delete key and press shift a and add plane we'll go i will go in a edit mode and vertex selection i will select these three vertex and hit the x key vertex so we will left with the one vertex only just to understand the basic of 3d geometry we will extrude this vertex into a one edge you will see that currently with one vertex it will become one edge we will go here with the edge selection and again i will extrude it like that now it will be now it's become a face so i will extrude the face so it will become the box again but the orientation of the box is not not right we can fix that in a edit mode or in a object mode i will press the tab key to go to the object mode you will see the change in the menu now we can move our object from here like that and there is a rotate menu and the shortcut is r for that we can fix the rotation from there or the keyboard shortcut is r so the orientation is fixed with the middle mouse button we can pan it like that if i miss some shortcut there is a screen cast over here you can check it from there last but not least there is a scale option like i want to scale it on a x-axis or a y-axis or a z-axis or as a whole i can i can reduce or increase the size of object we will switch back to the selection box and now we will press shift a again and add the cube once more and now we will grab it like that bring it over here shift a again and add the plane scale it like that or oh, now for, for the final object i will change my cursor to here remember new object is always added to the place wherever my 3d cursor is if i add the uv sphere it will automatically add to this place so if i bring it that to here now if i add another object that will be added to this place last but not least every object has the origin point this one is the origin point for that like if i rotate my object you will see the dotted line which is connecting with the origin point same goes for cube you will see that there is the origin point with the perspective of that origin point our object rotate scale or move so we have added few objects over here you will see the list of these objects in the outliner these are the planes icosphere cube and the camera this one is a camera for those who don't know the purpose of this camera feel free we will cover all these stuff in the upcoming lectures so that is all for 3d basic in the next lecture we will learn the basic of keyframe and also how to use these keyframes see you in the next lecture